Good morning, everybody. I have a story to tell you. Once I worked at a camp, it was out in the middle of the country in a state called Colorado, and I saw a mountain goat climb on top of a building. Now, how many of you believe me? Okay, several of you believe me, that's good. How many of you think I'm fibbing? Maybe? No? How many of you would like to see it yourself? Have you ever heard of the phrase, I'll believe it when I see it? Yes. Yeah? Well, until that day, I had heard stories about mountain goats climbing on top of buildings, but I didn't believe it until I saw it. And I'm sure everyone here and everyone at home and all of you have stories that have happened, things that have happened to you, stories that you have heard that you haven't believed until you have physically seen it. In today's Bible story, a group of Jesus friends had trouble believing even though they saw Jesus. They still didn't believe that it was Jesus. Now, they struggled, and Jesus helped them to understand. He invited them to touch his wounds. This was after he had died, and he was raised from the dead, and he hadn't gone to be with God in heaven yet. So he was still here on earth, and they didn't believe that it was him. But when they finally saw Jesus, when they finally recognized that it was him, when they had a meal together, they realized that they finally believed what they saw. Sometimes in our lives, it's hard to believe things even when we do see them. Sometimes it's hard to believe things even when we don't see them. But God is always with us. God is reminding us that when we open our eyes and look at the world maybe just a little bit differently, we might see things that we might not believe, like Jesus is always with us. We can't see Jesus today, but we know that Jesus is always with us. And we have the great, amazing ability to go out and tell everyone what we have seen. Just like I told you that story, I told that story to other people and all the stories that happened to you. Maybe there's something that happened during your spring break that you couldn't wait to tell your friends. Maybe there's something that happened in school this week that you couldn't wait to tell your parents. All of those are ways that we tell each other what we see. So when God is at work in our lives, even when we can't see God, we know God is with us. And we get to tell other people that. We know God's with us in the way that people love us, in the way that we come together here this morning for worship and learn about Jesus, in the way that we wake up every single day and remember that God claims us as his children through the waters in our baptism. So this week, maybe open your eyes and look for something that's amazing. It could be something little small. Maybe you even find a bird's nest. It's spring. I've seen one of those recently. And maybe you get to tell other people about that, just like you tell other people about God's love and God's presence and how God is always with you. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for always being with us. Help us to open our eyes and see you. Amen.